Hey guys, it's Mrs. Stevens. I am going to show you how to do the partial products method of multiplication. Um, parents, this is not the way that you probably learned how to do it. It's not the way that I learned how to do it when I was in fourth grade. So watch carefully and you can learn how to do partial products. All right, here we have a two digit number times a two digit number. For partial products, you're gonna be taking these bottom two digits and multiplying them by the top number. So we start with the ones digit in 32 here. Um, so 2 times 8, because the value of that 8 in the 1's place is 8. Then I'm going to take that 2, which is also has a value of 2, times the value of the 2 up here in the 10's place, which is 20. So then we have 2 times 20. Then, since I've multiplied this 2 by both the values of the top numbers, I'm going to go over here to the 3. The value of this 3 in the 10's place is 30. So it's going to be 30 times the value of the 8 in the 1's place, which is 8. So 30 times 8 and then this 330 times the 2 in the tens place is 20. 30 times 20. Now I'm going to take all of these products. So 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 20. My trick to make sure that I line these numbers up properly is I see that there's one zero, so I'm going to write a zero in the ones place, and then 2 times 2, which is 4. So that would go in the tens place. 30 times 8, there's one zero in 30 times 8, so I write a zero. And then 8 times 3 is 24, so it's 240. And then 30 times 20, I see two zeros, so I'm going to write two zeros. And then 3 times 2 is 6, so 30 times 20 is 600. These four numbers are partial products, and together we're going to add them and get our total product. So you add all your ones digits together, all your tens digits together, and then your hundreds digits and you get your answer of 896. I'm also going to show you a different way that I have found works for a two digit times a two digit number. It only works for two digit times two digits. So if you had a three digit number times a one digit number, it would not work. It's something that we talk about when we get older in algebra, but it works for this and it's called FOIL. So in this problem, 28 times 32, if we do FOIL, the F stands for first, O is outside, I is inside, L is last. I'm going to take these two numbers and I'm going to write them in expanded form. So 28 in expanded form is 20 plus 8. And then I'm going to multiply that by 32 in expanded form, which is 30 plus 2. Now I'm going to use FOIL to multiply these numbers. So first, I'm going to do the first numbers in each set of parentheses. First numbers are 20 and 30, so 20 times 30. Then I'm going to do my outside numbers on both sets. So on the outside here I have 20, on the outside here I have 2, so 20 times 2. Then I'm going to do my inside. The inside numbers are 8 and 30, and then the last digits of the two parentheses, so 8 times 2. And then I'm going to get my partial products. 20 times 30, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 zeros, so 600. 20 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 zero is 40. 8 times 30, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 zero, so 240. And then 8 times 2 is 16. Then I can add up all these partial products. And I get... 896. So you can see I got the same answer. I'm actually, my partial products are the same. I just did it in a different way. So those are two of the different ways that you can do partial products with a two digit times a two digit. Now, like I said, if you have a three digit times a one digit, you cannot use the FOIL method. It only works for two digit times two digit. So how would you do a three digit times a one digit? Down here I have 374 times six. So here, I'm going to be multiplying the value of this 6 by the value of all the numbers, or all the digits, in 374. So I'm going to do 6 times the value of the 4, which is 4, then 6 times the value of that 7 in the tens place, which is 70, and then 6 times the value of the 3 in the hundreds place, which is 300. Okay, and I'm going to write my partial products to the side. 6 times 4 is 24. I have one zero here, so I'm going to write that there, and 6 times 7 is 42. I have two zeros, so I'm going to write two zeros, and then 6 times 3 is 18. I'm going to add up these three partial products. 
All my ones equal four. All my tens equal four. Four plus eight in the hundreds place is 12. So I'm going to regroup my one. And so one plus one is two. So my answer is going to be 2,244. That's how you do partial products. I hope that helped you. If you have any questions, please uh, comment below and make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.